Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Loop Masters. And today I'm gonna to show you how to slice up sampled music from Spotify or iTunes inside of IMPC Pro 2.0. This is an iOS app by Retronyms and Akai, and it's incredible. It's really easy to do this, and it's a great way to get a track started. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so let's get started with a short tutorial on how to chop up samples inside of the IMPC Pro. We're gonna use a track from iTunes. We're gonna import it in, chop it up, separate it into pads, so we can use it in a set. Obviously, launch IMPC Pro 2 and open up a blank set. As you can see, there's nothing loaded on the pads, so we need to import something to slice up. The first thing we need to do, though, is go into the Tracks menu and make sure we have a drum track loaded. And we do. Perfect. Now we can jump over to the Tweak tab. Here we can assign sounds to the pads. Go ahead and hit New Sound. You can see right now that I've got the mic line in selected, and you can actually see my voice being picked up by the iPad mic. We need to activate the Turntable tab. This is a virtual turntable. It's meant to mimic an old school vinyl sampling station. You can sample from Spotify or your iTunes library. We're gonna import something from iTunes. Click Songs, It Ain't Me, select it, and let it load. Once the track is loaded, arm the recorder. It will then wait for an input signal to start recording. Let's go ahead and play the first few bars of this track. I had Here we can see the waveform of the sampled audio. The first thing I want to do is amplify the sample. To do that, click the pencil icon, which brings up the edit menu. Now the arrow, select amplify, then simply click and drag up on the screen to add gain to the sample. I have Hit apply when you're happy with the change. Let's chop off that last little bit of unnecessary audio. Click and drag the endpoint over to the left. Again, go to the edit menu and select discard ends to remove the audio outside the start and end brackets. Now, let's chop to pads. By default, it chops to two pads, but we're looking for four pads, so just click the Addition button to add more pads. Let's audition these slices. Now, let's edit that breath out by using a fade out. Again, go to the Edit, click Fade Out, and bring the starting point of the fade out over to the right and the end of the fade out over to the left until we're happy with the change. Once that happens, hit apply. Then hit done. Here are our slices on the pads. But there's a problem. If I play more than one pad quickly together, they'll overlap. That's not what we want. So let's assign them to a mute group. Click the pad and then click the mute group you want to assign it to. I'm using group one. Then click the next pad, and again, click Mute Group 1. The colors will change. Repeat this for the last two pads. Now listen to what happens. The pads will never overlap. Now let's go back to the Perform tab and try it out. That's how you get started chopping up samples inside of IMPC Pro 2 and a little bit about the mute groups. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.